Hey guys, it's your girl Jay Carlia again back with another video. So this video was initially supposed to be another makeup tutorial. However, I got up and I realized, Jazz, your makeup brushes are not clean. So can't do a tutorial without clean brushes. However, I did not uh want to miss this opportunity to record some content for you guys so um i just decided that i'm gonna show you guys my process of cleaning my makeup brushes so let's get into it <laughs> Okay, so to clean my brushes, um, I'm going to be using Dawn dish soap. And also, I added some um, essential oil in this. Also, to hold my brushes, I have some mason jars. Um, color doesn't matter. Um, size depends on how many brushes you want to fit into it, how tall those brushes are. Um, other than that, whatever you choose or if you don't want to do a mason jar you can actually get actual makeup holders which is what i am also using um some brushes come already on a stand so you know also i'm going to be using uh this makeup cleaner by Ur urban butterfly um where i got this actually the cosmetic cafe um, was actually doing a giveaway. They were called Wink and Glow Cosmetics at the time, but they are now the Cosmetic Cafe. They did a giveaway and this was gifted to me in that giveaway as well as this makeup brush holder. So stay on the lookout for those giveaways from the Cosmetic Cafe because they're awesome and they definitely come in clutch for real. So, all right, we're going to get started. Um, what I'm going to do is take this makeup brush cleaner and I'm going to apply it. I'm actually sitting at the sink. I'm going to apply it. It has the suction cups on the back. So I'm going to suction it down inside the sink. Boom, boom, boom. Get that done. <laughs> it doesn't matter what brush you start with. Pick one, child. So I'm going to wet it first in some warm water hot water warm water wet it get all of the just get it wet child just get it wet and then you just dip it into your dish soap and you're going to take it on your makeup cleaner and just dance it around till it creates a lather and you'll see all of the suds. You'll see all the makeup and stuff coming out of there. Brush it around real good. Don't be scared to get in there and work it. All right. And then once you do that, you're going to just rinse it out. Once you have lathered it really well and the majority of the suds are no longer brown or colored from the makeup, you're just going to rinse the soap on out of there. All right, and make sure your water not too high because I am burning myself, y'all. <laughs> Gosh. So, once you do that, and you rinse all the soap and you're confident that all of the soap is rinsed out of there, you can give it like a, a light squeeze. Okay, and clearly I still got some soap. But I really wanted to talk to y'all in this video, pretty much just kind of give y'all an intro that I never gave y'all. <laughs> um, yeah, I know my name now. I'm Jay Carlia. But I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about how um, this uh, YouTube started um, or why I started this YouTube or what inspired me to start this YouTube. Um, I really, I've always wanted to do it. I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. And, um, you know, just kind of, because I like to do makeup. So I always wanted to do that and get, um, put it out there. You know, just do makeup tutorials or inspirational talks or whatever. I've always talked about doing it, but I didn't do it. I never actually got around to it, never actually did it. And... I guess it was mainly because I always felt like, oh, I don't have this, or I don't have that, I don't have the right lighting, I don't have the right 
kind of camera. I only got my phone. I don't have, you know, I don't have enough makeup products. I don't really know what I'm doing like that well enough yet to, you know, to be putting it out there. But, and then it just, it just came to me. I don't know. It's just, I'm in this phase of just do it. Just start. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever you don't have, whatever you feel like, you, you can't, um, start at the perfect place you know like you can't jump in and already be perfect you can't jump in and already have everything you need some stuff comes from the experience some stuff and most of the time that's the best stuff that's the best part is the stuff that you you have to learn from the experience from jumping in there from getting your feet wet and that's just what i learned like that's i had to realize something about myself and i had to realize that you're praying to God about stuff. You're talking to God about, you want. I want you to bless me as I venture into this and bless me as I venture into that. And I had to realize, girl, you ain't ventured into nothing. You, don't, you haven't ventured into nothing. You're still playing it safe. You really haven't taken any risk. Like you really haven't, you know, put yourself out there. It's, and it's like, I had to realize that when I was younger, I was like, all for it like i wasn't scared to do anything i didn't care how bad i was at it um anybody that know me from middle school i played basketball for two years and was trash i'm talking about trash but guess what i was at every practice guess what i was at every game when they put me on the court guess what i was doing not much but i was doing it <laughs> i was doing it i just and i knew that people was out there and she sucks she trash and whatever but I didn't care. I didn't have that feeling of, oh my gosh, it's going to flop. Or, oh my gosh, they're going to talk about me. I didn't have that. And it's like somewhere along the line, as I kept growing up, as I kept kept experiencing, somewhere I lost it. I lost that, um, that drive to just go for it regardless. You know, regardless of what people are going to say. Regardless of how you feel like, oh, I'm going to look crazy or... You know, regardless, I, I would just do it. And in the past, it always worked out for me. It really did. It worked for me. The basketball team, for example, I only made the team because I didn't give up. Because I didn't have the skill for it. I didn't have the skill, but uh, at the time, it was Coach Hood. <laughs> Shout out to Coach Hood from Bahelia. Um He was the coach, and I sucked. Like, I'm telling y'all, I sucked, but... I didn't quit and I was I kept during the tryout phase I kept coming back to practice it's like I was stuck in that practice I would do terrible but I was back the next day I was back again so and he told me you know I allowed you on the team you made the team because of your drive you made the team because you didn't quit you made the team because you stuck at it not because oh she's so she's such a good player she got to be on this team but I like what I see in her. I like the drive I see. And honestly, it's the same with everything. I, I'm taking that from my younger self, or listen, from my younger self. Um, and it's the same way with life and becoming an adult and going after your goals. It's the same way. Like, sometimes you may not be the best at what you're trying to go for yet. You're not going to be the best. Sometimes you might suck at it right now. But if that's something that you know you want to do, go for it. Go for it. You have to start. Start where you are. It doesn't matter that you don't know everything about it yet. It doesn't matter. Just start. And sometimes you'll get the position or you'll you'll be successful just because you didn't quit at it. Just because you went for it. Just because you started where you were. And you, you did what you did know how to do. And um, biblical terms, you'll say you were a good steward of what you currently have. You know? And that's um, really what life is about, is being a good steward of what you have. And that just means taking care of and being responsible with what you already have before you get to the level you're trying to go to. Because um, I know myself, myself uh, guilty, I'm guilty of this, but wanting to be at a certain place before you even put yourself out there. And it's like, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You have to, you have to do it now. You just got to start where you're at. And just my own testimony once you do that and once you start from where you are 
your your passion and your gift is going to attract to you. I've been hearing that a lot lately. Passion, your pat, what you're passionate about is going to attract to you, um, and what you put the effort into is that's what's gonna that's what's gonna flourish. That's what's gonna be blessed, you know. Um, and you just can't expect it to be overnight. You just cannot. You just cannot expect things to happen for you overnight you can't expect it to just you know just because you you don't start with the popularity just because you don't start with the finances or you don't start with the best equipment or whatever it is that you're trying to do if you're trying to be a nurse just because you you don't it's confusing to you right now school is hard or whatever but that's a part of the journey that's those nurses that you see that you look at and say i want to be like that they went through them hard nights they started where not may not be the same exact place you're in, but they had a starting point. They had a starting point. And you just have to go for it. That's basically just my message is that you just have to go for it. Like regardless of what it is. And so very back to this YouTube channel, because I just kind of ventured all over the place. Um, but that's just what I decided. One day I literally just decided, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to start my YouTube channel. I'm just going to go for it with what I have now. I'm just going to do it. Um, and I put my first YouTube video out a week ago. Literally a week ago from this video. It was a week ago. And I already have 17 subscribers. Woo! 17 subscribers. So, that's not a lot. No, that's not, oh, she got so many subscribers. Uh. But, guess what? It's more than what I had a week ago. It's more than what I had seven days ago. So, guess what? That means I'm I'm 17 subscribers closer to my goal. So, <laughs> you just have to start. like, And that, for me, I'm patting myself on the back for that because... I'm, I'm realizing that, okay, you're getting back to that that drive that you had, that drive that you know is really you, is really what you like to do, you know? And you're being passionate about something again because life has a way of, it can suck all that out of you. It can suck all the excitement out of you. It can take all the those passions away from you, you know what I'm saying? If you allow it to, if you allow it to. Um... It's, it's really too short for you to not put yourself out there. Life is too short for you to not be doing what you really want to do. Life is too short for you to not be doing what you desire to do. And it's like, no matter what comes your way, you have to decide that I'm not stopping here. I don't, I'm not quitting because whatever loss you take, whatever you lose or you consider a loss, whatever you feel like uh, was a hardship, um, you know, whoever walks away from you, you know, they weren't meant to be on your path. They weren't meant to be on this on this journey with you. And you have to realize that's okay. That's okay. Um, you have to know the people that support you. You have to know the people that are for you, for real. You have to know who's in your corner. Um, because everybody that supports you don't support you. Some people just doing do things just so they can say they did it. Just so they can say, you know, well, I did this or I, I support you or I do this or that. But you really don't support me. You just did that for the sake of being able to say that you support me. And you really don't. But it's okay. It's okay. Like, you don't have to be upset about anybody not supporting you. Any Anybody not understanding your dream or your goal that you're going after. It's okay. But as long as you have that understanding with yourself and with God, and you know why you're doing what you're doing, um, you really don't need, you don't need nothing else other than it. God first, and determination, and the drive, and that go-get-it attitude, you don't need nothing else. And once you put yourself out there, the same prayers you was asking God to do, or to look out for you, once he see you doing it, he got you. And if it's, it's in, if, uh, I got tongue-tied. If it's in his will, and he sees you going for it, why wouldn't he give it to you? Why wouldn't he bless you with it? Why wouldn't he bless whatever you're doing? So, the thing is that I, I've heard all the time, and, you know, it's one of those things that I had to learn again. You know how you can um, 
feel like you know something, but then you find yourself in that situation and you respond in a way that's like, dang, I, I knew that. So why wasn't I prepared for it? But um, one thing I had to relearn is that God is not going to do anything for you that you can do for yourself. He already gave you the tools for it. He already gave you the ability. So why does he need to do it for you when he gave you the ability? He already did it by giving you the ability to do it. So he's not going to do it for you just because you're not putting in the energy to get it done. You know, but once he, once he sees you uh, going for it, once he sees you doing it, you know, because faith without works is dead. You can believe all day, but if you don't put your feet to the pavement, you're going to get what you what you work for. You're going to get what you have put in for. That's it. That's it. That's all you're going to get. Um, do misfortunes happen? Yes. Do things that are unavoidable in life happen? Of course they do. Of course they do. But what I'm talking about is the things that you have control over, that you are well able to do and to, you know, go for and to go after. That's what I'm speaking of. So you have to decide that you're going to just start living out what God put inside of you. And that's kind of where I am with this YouTube channel, with everything that I'm actually getting ready to venture into. That's just where I am with it. Like I've decided that I'm a, I'm living out what God put inside of me regardless. Like I don't care. And it's, it's not even about me because I know that I can help people with, some encouraging words with with a tutorial showing them how to do something with something i say just might ignite them it might in inspire them to be them be their best selves and along my journey of trying to be my best self so why would i keep that inside of me why would i sit on it when that's something that god blessed me with when that's a gift that god blessed me with so that's that's you know that's pretty much my judge and that's my why that's my why so, <laughs> hopefully, something that I have said has helped somebody, has, you know, inspired you to just start. Just do it. Because that's, that's my message with this video, is to just start. To just do it. Um, if you say, I don't have time, you don't have nothing but time, to be honest. You don't have time to not have time. And that's just how I look at things now. I would say, I don't have time. You do, though. You don't have anything but time. Make every opportunity count. Every opportunity. Make it count and go for it. Go for it and watch yourself flourish. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You got it. You got it. Like regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what the naysayers say, you say it. You say it. You talk to you. Talk to God. Talk to you. Believe in you. Believe in God and watch. Just watch him show out. Watch him show out in your life. I promise you. I promise you that. Um, but that's all I got, y'all. So I'm going to go over um, this br another brush again because I hope hopefully <laughs> I've shown y'all my technique um, well enough for y'all to get how I do this or how it's done. And I wasn't just too talking <laughs> too much more so than I was showing y'all what I'm doing. Um Oh, I forgot. Shout out to my cousin, Jessica. Jessica Mosley. Shout out to have to use your full government, girl. Shout out to her, y'all. She blessed me with a prime example of your passions will attract to you or God will bless you. Because um, she blessed me with so many products, y'all. So many products, so many brushes, makeup-wise. She blessed me with so much stuff, y'all. And I was just like, oh, I know it wasn't a big deal to her, but it was a big deal to me because I needed it. I needed a lot of the stuff that she blessed me with. And I'm just like, oh, shout out. Like, thank you so much. I need this. And that just really touched my heart. And I'm so appreciative, girl. I appreciate that so much. And it was out of nowhere, y'all. She just blessed me with it. So I was so, so, so happy about that. And shout out to you, Tootie. I love you. That's her nickname. <laughs> I love you so much, girl. But, um, moving on. That's that's really all I have, y'all. Um, I'm about to show y'all again how I do my makeup brushes just to seal it in and make sure y'all got it and that I didn't talk more than I showed. <laughs> 
so yeah y'all but i just i'm just feeling really optimistic i'm just feeling really good about it and thank y'all my 17 subscribers thank y'all so much for subscribing thank y'all for um seeing this and liking it enough to say you know i'm gonna subscribe i'm, I'm interested in watching what else she has to put out so thank y'all i appreciate it and this channel would be nothing without you <laughs> first i want to give it under to god thank you to all my i'm just playing <laughs> jk y'all take the brush with the brush make sure you rinse the brush out really good wet brush dip the brush take your dipped brush onto your makeup cleanser and lather it around make sure you get all the gunk out let it lather up really good if it's a lot of makeup in there all you're gonna see is brown and makeup running out of it but that's okay keep doing it until you can keep rinsing and scrubbing rinsing and scrubbing on your makeup cleanser until it's no longer pushing out brown <laughs> and sometimes you may have to rinse your makeup cleanser cleaner off as well if there's too much makeup on it that's why we stuck it in the sink all right and i actually have a lot more brushes to go y'all i'm cutting this video short but i actually got a lot more brushes to do <laughs> but i'm thankful i'm thankful because that means i have a lot of brushes which makes me excited so don't be sad don't be sad to whom much is given much is required <laughs> oh that's something y'all can expect on this channel is a lot of god a lot of god a lot of bible a lot of jesus oh yes <laughs> so yeah <laughs> and once you rinse the brush out and you've gotten all of the makeup out and it's clear to your liking what you're gonna do then is rinse it all out give it a good squeeze like so still a little soap in there give it a little squeeze and you're going to take your mason jar that was empty before stick it in let the brushes stick up straight out so that it can dry properly and once you're completely done you can just let all of your sorry y'all once you're completely done you can just let all of your clean brushes sit out to dry however you want to do it and that is all i have guys i'm going to finish cleaning these brushes i won't bore you guys any longer <laughs> um make sure that you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that bell so that you can get notifications and make sure you stay inspired and make sure you remember to just do it just do it get it done god got you all right y'all have a good one and i'll be back later with more content what, 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 what,